Jerry Lee. J Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in with the millions? <laughs> and the milk, milk of J Rock's fans from all over the world. J Rock is here. Uh, appreciate you guys being patient. Uh, said in a video I recorded in the last week that I did have a death in the family and trying to get everything back on track and uh, situated and. Um, you know just dealing with it one day at a time so uh, you no know, I haven't uploaded a lot of videos over the last couple days but Jerock is here today and we're gonna check out this game werewolf uh, this werewolf the apocalypse earth blood because I was wanting to see some gameplay of how the game works and um, this gameplay dropped a couple days ago just not getting to see it Let's check it out, man. I want to see how this game is. This something that I'll buy, rent, or um, let's see. Peggy 16. Welcome to Werewolf, the Apocalypse Earthblood, an action RPG set in the world of darkness. You play a werewolf called Kahal, and you're fighting Andron, an oil company destroying the environment. In this mission, Kahal and his pack need to sabotage some flare stacks. With help from Ava, a guru from the Glasswalker tribe, and a computer specialist, they managed to hack into the first flare stack. Or? Ava, I've connected you to the first flare stack. Good, keep it up. We've got this. The movement looks clunky and very stupid. Using his shape-shifting ability, Kahal can transform into a wolf to move around faster. Hmm. You can transform into three different forms, and each one has distinct gameplay mechanics. Huh. The human form is used for social and environment interactions. See the, feathers? the wolf form is the best form for infiltration and exploration, and the Krynos form is used for combat. By selecting and alternating between these forms, you can choose which approach to use for the different situations you encounter during the game. Huh? If infiltration it. fails, the Krynos form is often the only choice you have left. Oh, okay. You just with the, with the, with the push of a button. In combat, just... the Krynos has two stances. The first is designed for agility, allowing the beast to move around quickly and perform fast attacks while having great mastery of the terrain. Hmm. Rage is central to combat. It builds up as you deal damage to the enemies and allows the Krynos to perform special moves. Okay. Confronted with stronger enemies, the Krynos will want to switch to the more powerful stance, which sacrifices agility for greater strength and resistance. By switching between these two stances, you'll be more effective during combat. Okay, so you got destructible. I don't want to say destructible environment. Guru are vulnerable to silver bullets, and some of Endron's guards use them for ammo. Okay. Damage from silver okay. is not healed by the Krynos' healing ability. Therefore, it removes a portion of your health bar for the duration of the fight. Ah, okay. Got the silver bullet. You got the crosses and the garlic, too. Yeah, don't look. I don't know if you can dodge that. It don't look like you can dodge it. Once they lock on, that's it. After the fight is finished, the Hulk can yeah, transform into game, human game. form and continue his mission. I still got that game. Wolverine. Let's try an alternative PS3. approach in a different mission. Kahal is now in Nevada in an area Endron controls as part of its oil extraction plans. It is drilling the surrounding areas without any consideration for its impact on the environment and the planet. In this mission, Kahal is trying to collect data on Endron's plans so they can leak it into the media. But before he can do that, he needs to deal with lots of guards in his way. So, let's start with some reconnaissance in the wolf form, so we can choose which building to infiltrate first and view the extent of the damage caused by Andron.
Using his penumbra vision, Cahal can detect the presence and type of enemies he faces, okay. which helps him decide which approach to use to fulfill his objectives. In this case, oh, we're going to use a stealth approach at first to make the task easier. After exploring the surrounding area, we have found an air duct that we can use to enter this area without using the main door. The wolf form is ideal for taking this narrow route. Let's try to eliminate as many guards as possible using stealth. Each eliminated enemy increases Kahal's rage. This rage is stored and can be used in combat when he changes into the Krynos form. Rage can also be increased by consuming flasks found while exploring the different levels. You can also use Penumbra Vision to locate the control panels of reinforcement rooms as well as detect silver and those armed with it. Let's first discreetly handle the snipers. I do like how you can just push the button and switch. That that that's cool. <clears throat> if the enemy is too far away for a silent takedown, or there's a risk of being spotted, Kahal also has a crossbow for these exact situations. If it's equipped with electric bolts, it can also be used to deactivate security cameras or, in this case, damage the doors of reinforcement rooms so that the enemies take damage when they come out. But let's start a fight. Because our mission is still to eliminate Andron security. Now we're in Krynos form, and we're faced with a large exoskeleton. I need to hear that. Thanks to the rage that is built up during our stealthy approach, we can use two abilities to quickly deal with this threat. You know something howling or something. I don't know if you did it. If you did, I didn't hear it. In certain areas, the environment can both be an advantage and a danger. Some enemies are possessed by a band, an evil spirit that can transform them into Fomori and give them various lethal mutations. Hmm. Now that the Frenzy Bar is full, the Trinos can assume a third stance, Frenzy. While in the Frenzy, the Trinos has all the benefits of the other two stances, but can no longer use special abilities, and loses a certain amount of control of his combos. This state lasts until the Frenzy Bar is emptied. J-Rock says this, like it, don't love it. Um, I'm assuming this is the pre-alpha build. Uh, and they're still working on it, going to upgrade it a little bit. I didn't like the movement. It looked real clunky and, you know, very stiff. Uh, I did like the fact that you can just, at the push of a button, transfer into, you know, a, a werewolf, back to a man, into, you know, you know, wolf walking around. But, um... Got a got a got a um, crossbow. That's cool, but um, yeah, just I don't know. Might be a, something that I put on my game fly list um, and rent. It. But I don't know. I have to wait and see. But uh, some things I like, some things I didn't like. And but this is just you know a little demo. So I'm assuming that once it comes out, it'll uh, probably look a whole lot better. Uh, hopefully on the PS5 they got the 60 frames, which to me it should be the bare minimum right now. I'm still in the SmackDown and Cyberpunk 2077. I know it's a lot of hoopla around this game, bugs and everything. Bugs aside, the game is a, a, a hell of a game. I wouldn't say it's game of the year, but I, I would say it's a damn good game. Um, Cyberpunk, but... And I also started playing Demon Souls. Uh, game is a lot harder than I thought it was, <laughs> but J Rock is still gonna get get it done because that's what J Rock do, like the SmackDown. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna check this game out when it when it drops. Probably just put it on my GameFly list, rent it, see how I like it. If I like it, I keep it. If I don't, send it back, get something else. But um, I want to know what you think. So post your comments down below. Uh, is this a video, is this a game you think you'll play, is a game you think you might rent, 
um, or whatever the case may be, put in the comment section down below and let J-Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. And if you enjoyed the Great Ones reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share to the People's Channel. Don't just watch, subscribe. It didn't cost you a thing. Also, uh, any reaction requests, put it in the comment section down below or on the People's Facebook fan page. And uh, lastly, hit that bell so you can be notified that it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda. If you smell, what's a rock?